Okay, so I just have a couple of announcements today. Uh, first of all, there's a reminder that there's going to be Jamba Juice out near the drop-off circle during lunch today. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Jamba Juice is all around $5, something like that. So go get some, get some Jamba Juice. And also, there's going to be dodgeball in the gym at lunch today. It's going to be a class competition, and we're going to start on the dot at 11.35. So the first team that's going to be playing is 8th and, first, 8th and 9th versus 11th, and the second game is going to be 10th versus 12th, and after that, there's going to be the championship game. Each of these games are going to be five to six minutes long, and we're going to cut them off if they go over. And so if you're not there, like when your game starts, then you're not going to be able to play. So just try to be there, and the winner gets a class point. And lastly, so all the class presidents, we gave you a form yesterday to fill out about your replacement. So please get those in to me by today. And okay, yearbook announcement. If you guys have ever seen the yearbook, you notice that in the section dividers, there's a Yorkism quote. It's just like a quote that uh, a Yorkie or a faculty member at York makes. If you have any good ones, please write them down and at some point maybe give them to Dre or me and I, I'll announce it again to remind you guys. First of all, I would like to thank everybody who was involved with the Crucible, whether you were on stage, yeah. backstage, in the booth, you came to support us as an audience, you were an usher, Thank you all for making it such a success. I'm really proud to make this one. And secondly, this is your final reminder that the scripts for the One Act Play Festival are due the day we come back from break, and I encourage all of you to give it a try. I am also now looking for people who are interested in directing one. Maybe you have never directed one before and you'd like to give that a try. Maybe you have done it before. The number of directors I need will depend on the number of plays we choose, but I would love to get your names now, today, or when we come back from break that you're interested in doing that so I can consider you. Thanks. Okay, I have good news and very good news. The good news, to begin with, spring break starts tomorrow. We have an early release day today, so if you are um, on campus uh, this afternoon, uh, please be well behaved. Uh, faculty will be working on your third quarter comments and grades uh, through the rest of the week, and those will be posted for you next week. Please have a look at the blog. They should be up by the middle of the week at the latest. And then the very good news is that we come back for fourth quarter on March 19th and we get one more quarter of school, which is an awesome thing to think about. We look forward to seeing you on Monday, March 19th, and we hope that you have a great break. If, if you're planning on doing any service, any volunteer service during break, be sure and print out one of the, the verification forms that you get somebody to sign for your hours and take it with you. Do not be shy about asking people to sign those forms. People love to sign those forms. It's their way of saying thank you. Just tell them your school makes you keep track of your hours so you'll look like a responsible adult. Um, second announcement, I had the name of three different students who thought their families might be interested in hosting an AFS student for next year and wanted some more information. I need you to tell me again who you are. I've lost my list. And if there's somebody else who might be interested, um, see me just right outside the chapel on your way out the door today so that I can get information to you, get somebody to contact you during break. And the third thing, those of you who are going on the International Club field trip tomorrow to San Francisco, you need to be at the van at 8.30 a.m., pack a sack lunch, and bring $20 spending money. We walked to where the vans would pick us up, and my dad signed my life away. The, they fit us into two vans, and we drove out to the mountain. On the ride there, the others decided that discussing the horror videos which they had watched the night before would be a great idea. We pulled into a parking lot next to a large building. We waited there for a minute or two before we saw the gondola coming down the lines towards us. We got in that gondola and it carried us up over the beautiful mountain to a smaller docking station. There we stopped and we were fitted into our harnesses and ankle straps. They fit 20 of us, a winch, and two operators into a smaller gondola 
into the smaller gondola that would, be, that would continue taking us up the mountain. It stopped midway over the Alpine Lake and the operators got situated. The first man walked to the door and we started to count down. Five, four, three. One of the operators grabbed the guy and said, wait a second. He moved a cord and tightened a strap. He said, now you're okay to go. <laughs> okay? How is this at all okay? This is the opposite of okay. They expect me to jump out of this perfectly safe metal box with only a non-perfectly safe oversized rubber band as my safety line. <laughs> the man jumped. Him and those after him were fine. But then it was my turn. They said I was okay to go and I stepped to the door. I grabbed onto the sides and the others... I grabbed onto the sides and looked over the edge. Every butterfly in the entire world had somehow found a way to get into my stomach. <laughs> the few remaining people started to count down. Five, I can't do this. Four, just don't think about it. Three, why the hell am I here? <laughs> two, two, I just want to go home. <laughs> ah, screw it. I swan dove into the most terrifying moment of my life. When you see the advertisements for bungee jumping, or at least when I did, I thought that I would be gliding elegantly through the air. I was wrong. <laughs> there was no flying like a bird. There was only falling like a rock. <laughs> I had been plummeting towards my doom for a second or two now, and I started to think, did they attach the cord correctly? <laughs> If I put my hands together, could I just dive right into the water? And will my death be a viral video? <laughs> Those thoughts were expelled from my mind as the bungee cord yanked on my ankles. When I was bouncing and swinging around upside down, I was happier than I'd ever been before. <laughs> Seems like most of you guys have seen that video, and uh, in case you haven't, here are a couple of things. Uh, Kony, Joseph Kony is the uh, head of the Ugandan uh, re rebel army, and he's caused over two million people to be forced into displacement uh, in Uganda. He's also uh, kidnapped over 66,000 children to join his army. 
Uh, now, in order to stop this, uh, meet me at lunch. Uh, in the quad, it'll just take a minute. We're going to be calling senators and congressmen uh, to uh, raise awareness of this topic. Uh, thank you, guys. Pun my sort getting into a little battle of wits here. Um, and it started out, he, he was just harping on me, just really calling me out. <laughs> so, I've, I've been doing some research, and um, ancient Japanese dictators were the worst at concealing weapons because they always had to show guns. <laughs> so bad if we didn't have a headmaster. I mean, there's no harm in that. <laughs> After last time, um, one of my friends, Chris, um, was telling me I should do more chemistry jokes, but that's eh, not really my element. <laughs> Turn this off. 